Hey y'all, my Linux fans, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's walk through the steps to add Podman support to Cockpit on Alma Linux and then quickly deploy a simple container. First off, Podman should already be installed on Alma Linux by default. If you're unsure, log into your Alma Linux instance, open a terminal window, and run the command podman v. The output should include the version of Podman currently installed on Alma Linux. To add Podman support to Cockpit, issue the following command sudo dnf install cockpit podman y. To enable the Cockpit web based interface, issue the command sudo system control enable dash dash now cockpit dot socket. Now that Cockpit has been successfully enabled, open a web browser and point it to https colon slash slash server colon 9090, where server is the IP address or domain of the hosting server. You will be greeted by the Cockpit login window. Log in with any account that has sudo privileges and you should see the Podman containers listing in the left navigation. Click Podman Containers and you'll be informed the daemon isn't running. Click Start Podman to start the daemon. Once the daemon starts, you'll be directed back to the Container Management window where you can create your first container. Click Create Container and in the resulting window, type Nginx in the Image Search field. Make sure to select an official build of the Nginx image. Once you've selected the image, Click on Integration and add any necessary port mapping you might want, such as pointing external port 8080 to internal port 80. Click Create and the image will download and the container will deploy. You can then point your web browser to the IP address of your Alma Linux server at port 8080 to view the Nginx welcome page. If you want to learn more in the ways of everything tech, be sure to subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and watch more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.